Welcome to Mad Mike Max, and today we're going to be having a quick look at laminate glass. And why does it delaminate? Is it dangerous and can it be avoided? Now if this is your first time here, don't forget to pop down below and just click the subscribe button. It's free, low on fat, very good for your pocket, and uh, oh, just subscribe, it's a good idea. So what is laminate glass? Um, it's actually just very simple, two pieces of glass that have been sandwiched together and it has a type of resin uh, in between the two pieces. Uh, it's often to re referred to as safety glass and the reason for that is simply if you go falling into the glass, uh, for example, it won't shatter into a million pieces and cut you into bits. Um, it actually kind of pretty much stays together. So let's have a quick look, uh, I'll smooth the camera and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and this piece of glass behind me is actually cracked and I'll show you a quick uh, close up of that as well. And you'll see even though it's cracked uh, in two places it actually hasn't broken. Okay so this is what laminate glass looks like. Um, you can see it has uh, sort of two bits of glass and that line in the middle is, the, uh, is actually the resin. Um, that they put in between to kind of glue the two pieces together and it's also the part that acts as the safety barrier. Alright so here we have the crack that is going all the way through the glass I'm just going to put a piece of cardboard there so we can just see it very clearly and as you can see the glass is basically still held together by that resin core. So let's tackle two of the most important questions here. Number one, is it dangerous? Number two, can it be avoided? So is it dangerous? Well yes, it can be. The delamination is caused by excessive moisture and where you find that haziness or that, that cloudiness in the glass, that is where the two pieces of glass have separated. So the resin is actually hydroscopic, which means it can, it can absorb moisture. And as the moisture is absorbed, the glass delaminates. Now where the two pieces are no longer glued together with the resin, if you should fall into that glass, it is very possible that it can shatter and cut you very badly. Alright, so the second question is, can it be avoided? And I would have to say yes, because if moisture causes the problem in the first place, if you can stop the water from going into the glass or the frame, then you should be able to avoid the problem. Now, there are two different scenarios where this sort of safety glass is installed. The one would be in a wooden frame and the other would be an aluminium frame. Now I'm not an aluminium expert so let's look at the wood first and what I'm going to say to you is that if you do not maintain your woodwork regularly then what happens is the water is allowed to sort of just go in behind that beading and it stays there for a long time. Very similarly to the other video I made on the, on the door, a very similar sort of scenario. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one which also kind of explains the same, the same issue. So maintenance is always a good thing. Stop the water from going into the timber, into the frame and accumulating there. Now aluminium is a slightly different story uh, because it's, it doesn't absorb water. And based on my research, I believe that this is what should be happening. If you look at an aluminium frame, there should actually be straining slots in the bottom of the aluminium framing. There should also be a gasket or a seal around the glass to protect it from water actually going in and settling between the glass uh, or, or pooling up sort of next be below the glass, let's say. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm not an expert in aluminium framing or uh, extrusions. And if you are, I'd love to hear your comments below. 
So I hope that what you got from this video is that a lot of these issues are avoidable through good maintenance and also choosing the right, let's say, equipment for the want of a better word. And certainly I hope that you are going to share this video amongst your friends so that we can all actually just save a whole lot of money on repairs that are not necessary. So until next time, I bid you farewell and I hope you have a lekker day further.